When it comes to choosing a designer, their particular experience is really what matters most. So try and look at their previous work, look at projects you like, and then approach the designer behind that project. Go for flair and imagination. Look at what they've done before. Talk to their previous clients. Flair and imagination are probably more important than qualifications in many cases. No matter how small or big your project is, an architect can come in and give great design um, tips as well as space saving ideas and um, can actually benefit um, and be cost effective when it comes to your total budget in the end. So uh, an architect is my tip of the day. If you're building an eco house, you need an architect that's done it before. Ask for references, take up those references, go and look at those projects and make sure that the architect did those projects in a way that satisfies you. Make sure that they're suitable for you, that they're suitable for one-off housing and one-off clients like, like the self-builder. If they've been doing schools up to now, then they're probably not going to be suitable. Make sure that they're up to speed with the latest planning changes and the latest building regs changes and that they know what's up and coming on both of those issues. You need to find someone that you're compatible with. A self-build project is a long project. You're going to have to work with this person fairly closely for perhaps two years. Make sure you can get on with them. Make sure there's empathy. Make sure, above all, that the architect is prepared to listen to you. A good design is about much more than just aesthetics. It's about how much it actually fits in with your own build budget. So make sure your architect or designer can talk coherently about build costs and how it's actually going to meet your exact budget. Particularly with an older building, make sure that your architect understands the cost implications of what they might be suggesting and also the fact that they may discover things along the way that add to the cost and have they got contingencies to deal with that. Check that your designer has got adequate professional indemnity insurance. That way you're covered if the design has gone wrong. The most important thing with all plans from architects and designers is that their plans are drawn clearly and precisely with no ambiguity at all. The best way to achieve your most desired results is to sit down and tell them everything that you hate and, and, and love. Um, and they will sit down and understand all your the pros and cons of how to make a space work for you. Um, so again, uh, talking and communication with your architect will get the best results. Good design really is worth spending money on. You can design your own extension or renovation scheme or your own house from scratch. There's no law against it. But good design will end up with a project that's worth more and which will be cheaper and quicker to build.